<sighs> Y'all, it's crazy out here. <laughs> These people crazy. Y'all people crazy. Y'all people crazy. Okay, so I'm just coming on real quick um, to just speak some, some, some truth that maybe somebody need to hear. Because at one point in time, I needed to hear. You know, I'm just the type of person to cuss myself out. I'll say some shit to myself to get myself together. So I'm going to say this to get you together from love, right? This is from love. And don't mind me. I'm working, chilling, whatever, right? Anyways, at some point, you are going to have to take responsibility for your actions and your choices, the decisions you make. At some point, you are going to have to take responsibility for them. You are not the victim. You're not the victim. You have a choice every day to continue to be who you were or become somebody you want to be. Your choice. We do things and then when they don't play out the way we wanted them to, we're victim. Oh, he did me this way. She did me this way. Oh, da, da, da. no, sir. What did you do? What, no, ma'am. What did you do? We choose every day, every day I'm seeing you guys continuously choose to do the same thing you did yesterday, but expect a different outcome. If you are unhappy with your life, change it. Make a decision. If you're unhappy with your weight, make a decision. Change your way you eat. Change the way you eat. I fight with my, I like to eat. I do, but I know I'm unhealthy with my weight. So I'm going to have to make the decision. Can't nobody else do that for me. Can't nobody come save me. You guys keep waiting on someone to save you. Even as a light worker, there is only so much I can do. I can take pain out of people's bodies. Yes, I can do that. But there was a reason the pain was there in the first place. What are you putting in your body? So it will come back if you're going to continue to eat whatever you want to eat, drink whatever you want to drink. It's going to come back. This is why I can't heal everybody because some things God just wants you to go through, want you to experience because it's a wake up call. I'm just aggravated with people being the victim when you're not a victim. You chose every day you choose. If you know you are an unhappy person, then why the fuck is you sitting around watching a lot of sad shit? Why is you scrolling Facebook, reading a lot of sad posts? Why are you hanging around people who just sad and miserable? You're going to have to learn to uproot yourself and place yourself where the fuck you want to be. Sorry for the language, but it's, it's frustrating when I see somebody playing a victim when you're a grown-ass motherfucker who continues to choose to do what you choose to do. You can't control nobody else. You can't control nobody else and what they do. You can only control yourself, how you're going to react, and do what you got to do, period. Do what you got to do. If you got to cut them off, cut them off. If you want a better job, when you get off work, continue to look for a better job. Don't go home and just sit and be lazy and do nothing. Like, it's up to you. You guys are really not understanding what this spirituality is about. I know a lot of people feel like, oh, it's just a, it's just a, 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 um, a fad, a, a, you know, a trend or whatever. No, this shit is real. But what you've got to understand about spirituality, it is about self. It's about standing up to yourself. It's about becoming who the hell you want to be. That's what it's about. And it get ugly. When you start finding your truths and you find like, oh, you was a shitty person and you made a lot of shitty decisions. So your life is shitty. Okay, you got to come to that conclusion. You got to come to that understanding and truly feel what that feel like. And then you got to decide, well, who I'm going to be tomorrow? What I'm going to do? How I'm going to get out of this? I don't want to be here anymore. I'm ready to be anew. And then from there, you start changing your thoughts. You start changing the way you respond to people or things. You start changing the way you see stuff. You don't see the glass half empty anymore. It's half full. Like you start, you but, but before you can get there, you got to acknowledge your shit. It's nobody else's fault. 
Oh, he cheated on me, baby. He probably wasn't no good when you met him. Where you meet him at? He just got out of jail. But he but but he was gonna do right by you. That made sense. That sounded right. Oh well, what else we got? I mean, it just be all kind of crazy stuff, and it, this and this is from love again. This is from love because I truly, honestly, genuinely want to see people happy. I'm not just all merry and happy and all that uh, all the time because I had polar polarity up top down below as above so below. I had to know how to balance all of this. I had to learn to 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 deal with my shadow side and my higher self. I had to get understand all of me to get here. So I'm happy most of the time because I'm just unbothered. It's life. I chose. I choose every day. I choose. I could wake up and be unhappy like y'all choose to do see all the bad things in my life or I can get up and say, Oh, I got a new day. Let's see what we're going to do today. See if I can be better today than I was yesterday. See if I can make sure I stay on track with my diet. Don't drink no talk coffee, drink some tea. Like I, I, I go through these decisions every day just with the rest of y'all, but I'm not going to sit around and, and want a pity party. If you're tired, be tired. But be tired enough to want to fucking change. It's so much deeper than y'all understand, man. What are your thoughts when you're alone? When you are home alone, nobody else around, no music, no TV. What are your thoughts? Are they good or are they bad? If they bad, why they bad? Where they where they, where they stemming from? You got some traumas you ain't healed from. Well, let's let's start there. Let's heal on them traumas so we can release them, accept them, release them, identify them, accept them, release them. You don't need somebody like me or Ricky. You know Ricky P. That's my one of my trainers. Like you don't need spiritualists, light workers, psychics, healers. You don't need all of this because the same thing that's in me is, is, is in you. We are all connected to the God source consciousness. I say spirit, the spirit of consciousness, the spirit of Christ. We are all connected to that. That's why I'm able to read minds. That's why I'm able to tap in and just, and just know things because we are all connected. Sound crazy. I know, but people who were around me often know what I'm talking about. I get on their nerves. I'm sorry. I've just learned to, I've learned to listen and utilize it. You can do the same thing. Even if you is not trying to help nobody else, you're going to have to learn to do it for yourself. Listen to your inner, inner intuition, your, yourself, guide yourself, heal yourself, love yourself. <laughs> Uh, you're not a victim. It's really hard for me to feel sorry for people I see doing the same shit every day, expecting a different outcome, expecting a better life. I am a single mother of three kids. This shit's hard. It is. It's hard. So no, I'm not going to feel sorry for you when I know I got to get my ass up every morning and do what I got to do. What I'm, I'm not going to feel sorry for you when you have a choice, just like I have a choice. I'll be happy to assist any way possible conversation, reading. If you want one Reiki massage, if you want one, I'll be bringing in the aura cleansing and all of that. But this is still all stuff that you could do. But if you don't want to, you can pay me to do it. I'm cool with that. I'm really good at my job. You know, but ultimately I want to teach you to do it for yourself. Because this is what it's about. This is what spirituality is about. Healing yourself. (laughs) Y'all. 
at some point you are going to have to take responsibility for your actions. Because guess why? Guess why? As long as it's somebody else's fault, you will not change. You won't change because you don't feel the need to when you did nothing wrong. It was their fault. So do not expect your circumstances to change. They're not going to because you're not changing. You keep thinking, oh, you're going to get rid of this person, that in the, the energy that person carrying. Oh, the, no, because guess what's going to happen? You're going to get rid of that person. Then a new person going to come around with the same goddamn energy because you ain't figured out it's you. It's you drawing that in. It's you reflecting get back out. <laughs> Hello. Maybe too much for y'all. I don't know. But I just, I really, really dislike a victim who is not a victim. That's the word for today. You is not a victim. You're, you become stuck. You become stuck and stagnant with your situation. You don't have to be. If you don't have the tools, that's when you reach out to somebody who has the tools. That's when you, if you're, if you're really, truly ready to change and have a better life and you don't know where to go or how to get there, that is when you reach out to a light worker and you, we will help. We, that is, a, that is our mission. Like that is our calling. We will help. But you're going to have to do the work. You're going to have to make the changes. You're going to have to do the sacrificing. Like, it's all on you. It's all on you. Like old girl said, you know a tree by the fruits they bear. Some of y'all are bearing some sour fruits. Some rotten fruits, so... And some of y'all are hanging with some rotten fruit. So that's why your fruits don't turn right now. So excuse me, but, um, my rent over, I just want to come on here and say that I love you guys. One love from the bottom of my heart. Um, I hope, you know, let me know if you need my services, check out my website, a part of magic.com or www, a part of magic.com. Also my Facebook, a part of magic LLC, um, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, spirit underscore bomb 666.